16 million men and women who served in the armed forces during World War II, a third of them enlisted. They didn't wait to be drafted. Tonight in Veterans Voices, our Don Dare, who served in Vietnam, talks with a Navy veteran who sailed the Pacific for three years. What are you doing here? That's a prop. A prop? <laughs> Bill Adams and his wife, Viola, of 75 years, got a good laugh out of this picture of Bill and two of his Navy buddies snapped in 1945. George Albert Adams, known as Bill, left high school and enlisted, as millions of other young men did in 1943. How old are you in this picture? 17. 17 years old. Yes. Coming from where in East Tennessee? Elizabeth. One of Seaman Adams' first duties, he manned a gun aboard a troop carrier. We take troops overseas to different islands, bring uh, wounded back. He first sailed on the Fred Ainsworth transport ship, which steamed out of San Francisco, filled with Army troops bound for the Pacific during the war. We had to look out for the soldiers, take care of. How many soldiers were aboard the transport ship? About 3,000. 3,000 men crowded into one of these ships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just operated the guns. And that was a long trip, I would guess. Uh, about 16 days there and 16 back. Three years after enlisting, Seaman Adams was a maintenance mechanics mate, third class. As part of a crew, he kept the diesels running aboard LST-1059, a landing ship tank. Where is the engine room here? It was right in the middle here, right here. Down below? Down below. Way below? Yeah, about <laughs> it had three, to... three decks below. Three decks below, and it had to have been unsufferably hot down there. Yes, very hot. Just about every World War II sailor had a tattoo. Bill's anchor is a little faded, but not his memory. You were there when the war ended. Yes. In the Pacific. Yes. What a joyous time when <laughs> yeah. the war ended in the Pacific. Yeah, it was nice. Everybody enjoyed it. I mean, uh, cheered, you know. <laughs> you teared up. Yeah. In Bill's scrapbook is a weekend pass given to him in 1943. He said the shore patrol, the Navy's police force, kept a tight leash on young sailors. Today, he wears his World War II veteran's hat with pride. He may be 96, but Bill Adams is still young at heart. Don Dare, WATE, six on your side. Don, thank you very much. And of course, we want to say thank you as well to Bill and all of his service. If you know a veteran who wants to share their story, you can give Don a call. The number to call is 865-633-6923.